Okay, so we're gonna have a little look at crossroads, just some of the key points at um, crossroads. Uh, not gonna do light control crossroads today, that'll be another session. <clears throat> but just kind of regular, normal crossroads, like residential crossroads. Gonna paint a scenario for you here. So we're in the blue car, approaching the crossroads, turning left. We have a car opposite that also wants to come in the same direction. Who goes first? Now lots of accidents happen at crossroads because of misunderstandings or people not actually understanding what the actual rules are. So if you're turning left at the crossroads here and the vehicle opposite wants to come in the same direction, the blue car goes first. Because why would this blue car wait for this lane to be clear and that lane to be clear when they don't need to? So the blue car will go first. If we want to go straight on and the red car still wants to go in that direction, then it's still the blue car's priority. So the best way to look at this is if you're going left or straight on and the vehicle opposite is crossing your path, then it's our priority and they have to wait. If the blue car wants to go in that direction and the red car wants to go in that direction, we are both turning right. The blue car's turning their right and the red car's turning their right. So now there's no priority. And what you would do here is get some eye contact. Remember, you can't flash your headlights at people on the driving test because in the highway code, it states it's only a warning of presence. You can act on other people flashing their headlights as long as you're sure they're letting you go. If they're here and they're holding back and smiling and waving at you and flashing their headlights, they're probably letting you go. If they're peeping and creeping and looking like in a bit of a hurry, just wait, let them go, and then you can go afterwards. The junction may be wide enough for two cars to come out at the same time, so that's something else you can consider. But just be careful in this situation, know what the priorities are, and take your time. So I'm going to drive down to a crossroads here now, just to see if anything's happening down here, and see if there's any talking points. Prepare, observe, move, don't need a signal, no one about. Approaching the junction again. Now another good talking point is that this is a stop junction. Mirrors, signal, slowing it down. So a stop junction, by law, the wheels of the car must come to a stop. Now, contrary to popular belief, you do not have to put the handbrake on. Remember the rule with the handbrake is if you're waiting and you can't, or well, you can't go within sort of three or four seconds, you're gonna wait longer than that and you put the handbrake on. It's gonna pop it in now. Now observations wise, I'm looking ahead and right and left continuously. Now the car opposite me is not signalling. So it's their priority because I'm crossing their path. I'm checking again, it now looks okay, so I'm gonna move on. Sometimes people, even though it's their priority, may gesture for you to go. Now that's okay, even on the driving test. If you're absolutely sure they're letting you go, you can proceed with caution. They don't just think, oh, on the driving test, I'll stick to the rules. If they're letting you go, there may be a reason why they're letting you go. That might be because, for example, um, they can't go on the, that side, on the, on the left side of the road because there's a, it's blocked by parked vehicles and may need to come on your side. So there may be a valid reason why someone's letting you go, even though it's their priority. 